Hi, I've been spending a lot of time thinking about how to best deal with the content from Twitter into Rome because it turns out there's a lot of really great stuff on Twitter, some really complex threads with great ideas that I want to take into Rome to process further, and that's not trivial. So I found this great plugin uh, made by PolGB, um, and I forked it and uh, added some features specifically for Rome. Unfortunately, you have to download it manually, but there are some instructions here. So this is how it works. Let's say I find, um, I did a search here and I found a, a tweet um, which is in the middle of this thread that looks quite interesting. So I'm gonna first go to the top tweet of this thread and then I'm going to uh, click on this plugin. And here we see um, the thread as I was seeing it. So Andy's first tweet, a bunch of other tweets, and then there's someone who responded to his first tweet. But we can expand these because you see these three dots, they mean that there are more responses. If I click on expand all, it will gradually expand and add content. And you see there's a little bit of a pause built in to not overload the Twitter API. So we get this really interesting uh, threaded structure. And uh, to bring this into Rome, I just need to click this copy bulleted list to clipboard. And I can, for example, put it on my daily notes or I can put it anywhere else. So let me, um, let me go through a few uh, features of uh, the format that I've chosen. Um, I start out by uh, the, the name, not the username, but the actual name. Uh, which is, of course, in Twitter, sometimes people have really, really long threads, but in this case, it works well. Um, so uh, I show the name of the person who wrote it, and then I show the first tweet. And usually this would be in one bullet, but in this case, he had uh, actually some, some, some um, line shifts. Uh, and so I indent those. And then, so this is kind of the first bullet, but again, because he has these line shifts. Uh, it's a Twitter thread, and this is a Rome link, so I can see all the Twitter threads I had. Uh, it's again mentioning his name, um, and uh, which is maybe not necessary. Um, and there's a link back to the thread. And then uh, underneath, so basically what I'm doing is I'm indenting. What I want to do with the indenting is um, whenever there, so I experimented a bit with this, but here's how I'm doing it. If a tweet has either more than one child or siblings, I indent it. So I want to distinguish these two from each other and I want to distinguish this. So I indent this one further to make sure that this is a child of this and not this, for example. However, here where we have a thread of tweets that go straight down one after another, I don't really want to keep indenting these to the right the whole way. So here I would try to gather these um, same thing here. And so we can see how that, that looks. Uh, so. You see here that um, you can kind of follow the thread fairly well. So Kevin Similar starts a thread, and then we have the two responses to him uh, that we can, you know, keep track of fairly easily. Again, you see I'm using the actual the display names for everyone uh, because I want to be able to link this uh, to. So for for some people that works really well, like here. Uh, in other cases, uh, I can still because this is a link, I can still go to GP Lewis and kind of rename it to whatever his actual name is, and then that will be changed across all Twitter threads I have. Um, I remove all the, the at people because I don't think that adds a lot of information. Um, so sometimes that's, that's annoying if it says I made this with at Peter, but you know, you always have the link to go back anyway. Um, I also expand whenever I can all the URLs. So instead of getting the Twitter short URLs, we get the actual URLs, um, which I think is really nice. Um, I remove automatically all the, uh, the the reader app unroll me please and the response from the reader app bot, which is very common in these kind of threads. Um, I also pull in images, which we don't see here. Um, so let's see if I can just try one other one. Let's see. I think uh, I think Andy had one about peripheral vision. I don't think I spelled that right. Peripheral. Right, so I'm guessing there's some images here. Yeah, so let me try to grab this thread. And again, I go up, oh, there's lots of good stuff here. So I'm gonna go to the top thread 
and let's see let's hope the twitter api is still happy with me and here we see so there's a long thread of his writings and if we if that's all we wanted we could just grab that so i could just copy the bullet right now i'm gonna collapse this i'm gonna add another thread and so here you see it looks really nice actually um we get all of the images now these are links to twitter's images i'm not copying them anywhere and so um you know if he deletes these tweets they might go away but i'm not so worried about that it would be cool to have an api that actually um copied this anywhere so this is already really really nice and uh, very readable i think um and easy to go in here and say you know digital task list i want to make that a link for example um, but if we wanted to get all of the reactions as well of course we could do expand all and we see here <laughs> that um wow it's a little bit overwhelming um, now, of course, a lot of these will just be people saying, oh, that's super interesting. And so, you know, you'll have to spend a little bit of time um, curating, but um, it's, uh, there might be some really good nuggets in there. And so we can, you know, let go as far as we want, or we can say, hey, that's enough. I'm going to copy this. And now we get this thread that has... Uh, so we have the stuff from Andy. Note that I'm not showing uh, the name of the original author when they're typing. So this is all typed by Andy. Um, but here, for example, so he's saying this, and then Tom Bielecki uh, is saying something, a lot is saying something, Chris is something, is saying something, um, and so on. So Michaela Brockman is saying something, Jason Dunn is saying something. Um, yeah, so there's Robert Heisfield. And uh, I'm pretty happy with this. There's a lot of weird stuff going on with um, tweets and there's probably stuff that I haven't accounted for, but so far this seems to be working um, pretty well. So try it out.